Today I'm going to show you how to convert images that are in Canon's RAW format into a more usable format like JPEG and there are plenty of other options. Um, it's using this pretty cool software called Irfan View and it's been around for a long time and it's open source and free which is definitely awesome. So I'm going to link this website in the description so um, it's just the place where you can download what you need and what you will need is two in, uh, .exe files. So the first one is whichever one matches, like if you have 32-bit, then choose this one. If you have 64-bit, then choose this one. If you don't know what you have, you probably have 64-bit. That's, I'd say, 99% of the computers made in the last few years are 64. So um, if you have 64-bit, then just click on this one. And then also you're going to need the uh, all plugins that corresponds to it. So if you have the 32-bit um, for the normal installation, then also select the plugins option right here for 32-bit. If you choose 64-bit, then choose this one. So when they download, you're just going to have two folders like this. So you will have um, the actual Irfan View installation and then the plugins. So first we'll need to install Irfan View. So just hit yes on that. And you can leave most of this by default. I just get rid of the ones on the desktop and just hit next, next. Um, if you want it to automatically open any of the files, like when you double click on them, it would open in Irfan View. Select them here. I just leave them as blank and um, this is all fine just hit next and then uh, just have it start so now uh, Irfan view is running and all is good but we also need to install the plugins that allow it to open the canon raw formats if we tried to open a raw image right now it would just give an uh, error message so um, if we just close this then that's what this other installation is for so just double click on that and then hit yes and then it's going to ask you where your current installation is. So since I have the 64-bit version, then all it says is program files. If you did the 32-bit one, then it would say program files. And then in parentheses, it would have x86 right here. So um, just make sure it's whichever one you have. It should default to the correct one. And then just hit next. And it'll just say installation successful. So then just hit OK. And now let's open up Irfan View again. So if I just type in Irfan. Okay, so now we can actually open and work with Canon RAW images. So if I just do an open right here, then I have a image right in the pictures folder that it's going to work with. So right now it doesn't show up, and that's because the files of type is just common. Um, so CR2 or the Canon RAW is not a common file, so um, we have to select it from the dropdown. They have a ton of files you can work with, but we're, what we're interested in today is the CRW CR2 Canon CRW format. So click on that one and you'll see that now that image that I was using is right here. So if I just double click on it, now it'll open in our fan view. So I know all is good because it just opened fine. So now um, what I, the point of this video is to convert these to a more usable format like a JPEG. Like raw images are awesome because they have all this data to work with, but a lot of time you just upload them to Facebook or something like that and this makes them super easy. So um, to do that, just go to file and then go to batch conversion rename and then here we can select the files that we want to convert from one type to another. So on the left right here you'll just need to choose whatever you want to output it as probably a JPEG but maybe like a PNG or something and then in the right you select what images you want to work on. So again we need to change this files of type to CR2 and then we can just select any of the images that we want to convert. So I just have one here so it goes quickly but if you had a whole bunch in this file, in this folder, sorry, um, you could hit add all and then they would all just jump right to this window and you'd convert all of them at the same time. So then on the left here, you can select where they go. So I'm just going to leave this as C temp and I'll show you where that folder is. But you could change this to be like if you hit browse here, you could go to your pictures directory or something and create a new folder like output. So then you would put all the images in here and then they would show up in that output folder. So once you have those three things set up, you can just hit start batch, and then it's automatically can convert all of the files that you put down here. This can take a few seconds per image. So if you have a lot of images, it might take a few minutes. So walk away, get a cup of coffee and come back, and then you should be good to go. So now we can just hit exit batch and open up that folder um, where we saved all the output files. So in my case, I left that as the C temp. So I would just click on this PC on the left and then I'd go to my C drive and then there's this big temp folder right here. And then this is gonna be where all that output is. And you'll see now it's a .jpg instead of the .cr2 that I was originally working with. 
And if I open it up, it's still pretty ridiculously good quality. But what is also cool is the image is much smaller now. So if I go to the properties here, it's gonna say that it's like 1.74 megs. The original image that I was working with is somewhere around 20 megs. So it's actually 10 times smaller just by being converted from a RAW to a JPEG. So um, it has still has great image quality, but it's much smaller and more easy to uh, upload to Facebook or to give to your friends or whatever. So that's the easiest way to convert CR2 files into JPEGs.